What is going on everyone? This is Ivan and welcome back to the Ivan Rides YouTube channel. Today we are going for a ride because we are going to the final two wheel Tuesday uh, for New York's riding season. Uh, a couple of months ago we did a video where we attended the uh, Electric Wednesday meet. This time around, they're combining the Two Wheel Tuesday and the Electric Wednesday into one big event. So, whether you're curious to see the sights and sounds of New York, or you want to see what this event is all about, sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. It's good to have you on board today. So it's been raining the last couple of days and it's really sucked here in New York. So I wasn't really planning on attending the event until I got the day off and I finished all my work. So now I'm actually going to check this out. I've never been to any of the Two Wheel Tuesdays, so this will be my first one. But today is going to be pretty special because they're combining all anything with wheels basically at this event. So uh, I think zoos and cake bikes are some of the sponsors that are here for the event and then of course you have the motorcycle people and then you have the car folks as well we also have a couple of new camera settings that we're testing out so in the comments section down below let me know if you like the way the footage looks or if you'd like me to go back to the classic recording style that we had so while we're there, we're going to record some of the festivities. We're going to see who's attending and I'll try to capture some of that. But we'll also capture the ride home. So we'll be getting our first taste of night riding footage for the ride home here. And in the last couple of videos, I'm sure you saw that we had the NAMI Blast Max for a little bit there. And the reason we had that scooter was because this scooter was uh, with my homie Ed and he was doing a tune-up with it. I like to have the scooter tuned up every 700 to 1,000 miles depending on how hard I'm riding the scooter. As someone who doesn't necessarily mash the brakes all the time, that's also kind of like the amount of life I usually get out of my brake pads so uh, I was having Ed tune it up and I got a chance to really spend some time with the Blast Max and it was a lot of fun but the one thing that I did keep saying was I found it very difficult to control the throttle in the highest settings uh, stock out the box and now that I'm back on my burn E this is this is that smooth throttle delivery that I really missed while my scooter was away. It's just, it's so controllable. Like I do not have to leave X mode at any time in order to be able to really control the, the scooter. Like even right now, like let's see, we're at three miles an hour. I'm able to feather the throttle here without the scooter trying to like constantly throw me off. And I know that uh, this is not a Blast Max video, but I kind of wanted to go over that really quickly since we are on the Bernie and we are going to be doing some low speed and high speed riding here. So the one thing I do want to show you guys here is uh, I did have the steering damper removed uh, from the scooter. So the scooter looks a little bit cleaner, but I feel like I'm at this point now where I have great control over the scooter. I mean, just keep in mind, it did take almost 3,000 miles of riding to be able to confidently take that off. I wouldn't recommend it to just anybody to take off that steering damper, but for me, I thought it was a good time to do so. Uh, we can't, we can't go too quick here. I guess we have a... Uh, NYPD, but that's okay. We'll just, we'll chill over the bridge. It says that we're about nine minutes away. 
and it should be a pretty straight shot here. I, I usually don't like going this way just because there's so much debris here on the side of the road that I've gotten flats here a few times. And you're always kind of gambling whether or not you're going to get a flat on Greenpoint Avenue. But we do what we can. For those of you guys that follow the community portions of the tab, you know that we're taking the uh, Motorcycle Safety Foundation course in the next couple of weeks. So that means we're going to get our M-Class endorsement soon. So we might be able to test out some of those cake bikes in the future. But for now, we just got to get to the course and we got to complete it and we got to get our endorsement. So. And as we approach the destination here uh, and the halfway point of the video, if you like this type of content, please consider giving it a thumbs up as it really helps the channel. Uh, leave a comment down below if you like the new uh, camera settings or if you don't. Uh, if you just want to say hi, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below as well. And if you really like my content, please consider subscribing to the channel. There is an icon here with my logo on the bottom right. Just click on that and it'll subscribe you to the channel. And when you subscribe, just make sure you turn on the bell notification so that I can notify you anytime a video comes out. Uh, currently, we are on a weekly release schedule for e-scooter, e-bike, and e-skate content. So keep an eye out for that. And I'd love to have you as part of the family. This has uh, been an amazing journey so far. And I hope you continue to enjoy the journey with me. And with that out the way, I just saw some motorcycles turn in. So I think we are now approaching the area here. Um, am I supposed to go straight here? Nope, there it is. I missed it, so I gotta make a U-turn. Actually, no, it says that I keep going, but... I thank you, Amazon van, for blocking the lane. It says I keep going up this way. Ugh, sludgy New York water is so gross! motorcycles I hope, I hope Google Maps is sending me the right way Google Maps has been known to kind of send you into the middle of nowhere okay and then I go this way and it's supposed to be here but it looks like the streets are closed, so... I think I went the wrong way. Okay, gotta go around. Okay, I think Skyline Drive-In. Oh, there we go, NYC. Is that it? Nope, private lot, okay. I think... There it is, I see the sign, Skyline Drive-In. Wow, look at that view. And this is pretty rough on the tires. <laughs> uh, I see Shmooly. Uh, rabbits over there. Da -da -da. So I guess I'm gonna pull off into the side here. And where do we go? All right, everyone, so I'm gonna try and find the crew here, so we'll we'll cut it and then I'll see you guys later.
Actually, we just finished up over here and oh, we're following Johnny Prime over here. We're heading home. I don't think we can get out through here, but we'll see. We will see. I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of footage that we had there. Closed? Oh, sh it is closed. Nope, all good. Oh. oh, these roads are terrible. But we finally get to test the night footage here, so I hope these settings hold up well. Sir, I'll see you later. Good to see you. Good to see you. What I was trying to say there was, as we get into winter, it's going to get darker much earlier than before so that just means that we got to get these settings on point before anything else so i think i got it down i've been practicing with it on the on the e-skate video so i think this should be pretty good but who knows who knows once again, let me know if you like these new camera settings that I'm running. I'm hoping to get a little bit more clarity, a bit more resolution, because I want the image a bit crisper than, than before. But I just got to be careful here, though, because the potholes here are no joke and the last place I want to be stranded is here you know what? we'll get around him here yeah there's nothing really around here to to grab I would have to get a cab and then pay a lot of money to get home if I hit a pothole at speed there we go. Ah, open road. Wow, that guy almost hit that guy. Oh. That's one of the things I hate about cutting through this area is it is pretty pretty crazy with trying to keep up with the cars and these commercial vehicles And then they put the bike lane literally right on top of the cars. I don't know if you see here, there's two bike lanes, but... It is what it is. All right there, Speed Racer. All right there. man has his whole family on that scooter. Jeez, that's really sketchy, but gotta do what you gotta do, homie. Gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, look at these kids. Hey, hey, hey. These are, uh, that's the future PEV there. Got a little group right here with the delivery folks. But I'm peeling off here, guys, so I'll enjoy. And as this ride comes to a close, again, I want to thank all of you for joining me on this 
two wheel Tuesday close out for ride more talk less here in New York I hope you enjoyed some of the uh, footage that we got of the vehicles that were there and as always thank you for your support on the channel I really do appreciate all of you and I think we have one of the best communities out there so thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you with that said we'll just ride out for the remainder of this ride just enjoy it and I will catch you guys on the next one as always ride safe out there detour here I wanted to take this little detour here through this really dark area because I wanted to see if the camera settings were correct for stuff like this but thanks again everyone it was great having you Peace out.